There were many easy ways of doing this. The most pleasant way was to go and have a good dinner at some fine restaurant. Then he would say that he had no money to pay and then a cop would be called. It would all be done very quietly. The cop would arrest him. He would be taken to a judge. The judge would do the rest. So he is planning to go to a large restaurant and uh, eat up a nice meal. Afterwards he will not be paying the bill. So the owner of the restaurant will call a cop and he will take uh, him to the judge. He will send him to the prison. This is what he planned. This was his first plan. So Sophie left his seat and walked slowly out of Madison Square to the place where the great street called Broadway and 5th Avenue Street. So this is a street where very rich persons live. He went across this wide space and started north on Broadway. He stopped at a large and brightly lighted restaurant. This was where the best food and the best people in the best clothes appeared every evening. So uh, he could uh, find himself uh, a place that is a very good restaurant to take, uh, take in his meal. So we believed that above his legs he looked alright. His face was clean. His coat was good enough. If he could get to a table, he believed that success would be this. The part of him that would be seen above the table would look alright. The waiter would bring him what he asked for. So he is thinking he has worn very nice coat and he has very good face. So he will be if he will be allowed to take it to the table, the underneath of his half body will not be visible to others. That means the half part of the body is not good enough to expose others. He began thinking of what he would like to eat. In his mind, he could see the whole dinner. The cost would not be too high. He did not want the restaurant people to feel any real anger. But the dinner would leave him filled and happy for the journey to his winter home. So what he is thinking he is, he will, he will not order uh, much priced meals. He needs only a uh, medium right meals. But he only wanted to uh, make his hunger put down. So he was thinking in such a way he reached the restaurant. But as Sophie put his foot inside the restaurant door, the head waiter saw his broken old shoes and the torn clothes that covered his legs. Strong and ready hands turned Sophie around and moved him quietly and quickly outside again. So that restaurant was a very big restaurant where only rich people usually come. Where but Mr. Sophie has a torn shoes and above that he has torn pants. So on seeing him, the uh, guard who was standing outside sent him out. Sophie turned off Broadway. It seemed that this most easy way to the island was not to be his. He must think of some other way of getting there. So again he turned off to Broadway and he is thinking of another way to get inside the restaurant. At a corner of 6th Avenue was a shop with a wide glass window, bright with electric lights. So he picked up a big stone and threw it through the glass. People came running around the corner. A cop was the first among them. So he stood still. And he smiled when he saw the cop. So what did he do is, um, at, at a corner of his 6th avenue, he could see a shop with a wide glass window. So what did he do? He threw a stone at the glass window. 
and it has broken and he stood there with a smiling face there was a cock standing there looking at the cock he was smiling where is the man that did that asked the cock the asked uh, the cock come near the uh, window and he asked who who had broken the window don't you think that i might have done it said sophy then sophy is telling you don't think i might have done that he was friendly and happy what he wanted was coming towards him so he thought this cock will come and arrest him so he was asking him why don't you think that it might have done by me but the cock smiled would not consider sophy uh, cock did not mind sophy men who break windows do not stop there to talk to cocks they run away as fast as they can the cock saw a man further along the street running he ran after him and sophy sick at heart walked slowly away he had failed two times so what happened here normally if a person has done something wrong to anyone he will not stand there he will run away so the cop is telling the persons who will to uh, be doing some wrong things will not stand here they will be running so by the time he could see a man was running along the street he was running after that man so the second time also mr sophie's plan failed across the street was another restaurant it was not so fine as the one on broadway the people who went there were not so rich its food was not so good into this sophie took his old shoes and his torn clothes and no one stopped him so what did he do next another he went into another restaurant where not rich people uh, were used to go only common people will be going there so he was with his ragged dress but nobody uh, blocked him entering in the restaurant he sat down at a table and was soon eating a big dinner when he had finished he said that he had no money so he had a big dinner uh, there and uh, after finishing the dinner he told them he had no money get busy and call a cop said sophy and don't keep a gentleman waiting he is telling please come on call a cop and arrest me no cop for you said the waiter he called another waiter the two waiters threw sophy upon his left ear on the hard street outside so they uh, what did they do is they did not call the cop instead they called another waiter and both of them threw this uh, mr sophy away to the street he stood up slowly one part at a time beat the dust from his clothes prison seemed only a happy dream the island seemed very far away so this is the third time he is doing another things to get into the prison but this time also his plan failed so what did he do is he uh, dusted his uh, uh, dust uh, he beat from the dust from his clothes and he was thinking prison seemed only a happy dream a cop who was standing near laughed and walked away so he started moving again when he stopped he was near several theaters in this part the in this part of the city streets are brighter and hearts are more joyful than in other parts women and men in rich warm coats moved happily in the wind and air a sudden fear caught sophy no cop was going to arrest him so uh but while these two waiters were throwing him into the street a cop a policeman was passing by he was looking at him and he could see men and women with rich dress rich richly dressed or with the costly dresses will be moving happily in and out of the restaurant and moving uh, through the street but he has no place to rest in the uh, during the winter so 
a sudden fear coat soapy and he he thinks no cop was going to arrest him